Hey guys, so it's super windy outside and it rained so hard last night that um, there was like water almost like halfway up my steps which was kind of scary. It flooded, like seriously flooded. And it was pretty crazy. So, <laughs> it luckily it went down, but at the uh, behind our house there's like a hill and it goes downwards and into a creek and the creek flooded really bad and it's still pretty pretty flooded. So, I might get some video of that and you can see how it was a lot worse last night, but I mean, it's still pretty bad. Hey guys, so if you see behind my house still pretty nasty. That's just like mud. The The water level was actually still pretty high this morning, but it's pretty nasty. Still got like a puddle in my yard. Yay! And a dirty hole. Say it! No! You're not going to get that on recording. She was afraid. Were you afraid that the car was going to fall? <laughs> I was You're gonna afraid the stuck? car was going to get uh, pushed into yeah. the ditch. You just admitted you were afraid. <laughs> <laughs> You're a jerk. Why, why is that a big deal? No one's uh, going to no. think less but, of you. Uh, yeah, this bridge, it was all water. Ew, that looks pretty bad. Yes. It's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. I bet all the trees are gonna grow like a couple <coughs> inches this year. Yeah. Well, we got uh, our whole April's amount of rain in one day. Yep. So it says Facebook at April least. April showers. <laughs> there was someone on Facebook who was like, uh, if April showers bring May flowers, I bet there's going to be a bunch of huge ass flowers next month. <laughs> I was like, probably. <laughs> it's true. It's like going in a cave. <laughs> Talk about bumpy. I am not naturally that shaky. Just a little. No, I'm not. I'm not that bad. I'm awesome <laughs> with the camera. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. Arg. Arg. That's our gay lion noise. Grr. Arg. That's what a, a gay lion would sound like. <laughs> I don't know. In the road. Aww, everybody is all sweet and stopping. They better stop for him. Hey guys. Um, so as you know, well as most of you know, um, I am a big fan of Rachel Whitehurst, who is a fellow YouTuber. And she's always going on about the Vampire Diaries and how it's a great show. And, and it's like her, one of her favorite shows, if not her favorite. And uh, I had watched the first season. I remember liking it, but it wasn't like really that noteworthy to me. I thought it was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I was still kind of into Twilight at the time. And um, so she kept kind of gushing about it. And I guess it sort of stuck in my head. And there was all the first four seasons on Netflix. And I was like, well, you know, I got my new computer now. And I can watch Netflix on my computer. So maybe I should give it a shot. So I watched the first season. And I watched the second season. And I was like, okay, that's pretty good. And then I got to the third season, and I was just like, whoa, there's, like, so much stuff going on. Um, and the, the finale of the third season was amazing. I, can't, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but it was, it was pretty amazing. And then now I'm just, like, I'm a pretty big fan now. <laughs> um... So I guess this is kind of like a promotion of the Vampire Diaries. Just like get through the first, it's really the first season that I guess for me I was just sort of like, oh it's a girl, another teenage girl who falls in love with a vampire, how original, you know, kind of thing. That's how I felt about it. Um, and I 
think it was because I'm not that big of a fan of Stefan. I'm sure there's like a billion girls out there who would want to murder me right now. But seriously, like, I just, I mean, yeah, he's good looking. I mean, don't get me wrong. Paul Wesley is very attractive and a really nice. He seems like a really, really nice guy. And I mean, his character is cool and all or whatever. But I always kind of crushed on Damon because... I don't know. I have a thing for bad guys, I guess. I don't know. You ask Andrew. I'm always like rooting for the serial killer because I'm weird like that. So, I guess for me, like, I always was sort of more into Damon. So, when you get to the third and, like, fourth seasons, things kind of change. And um, it, it, ma it made me happy. I don't want to say for sure what's going on because I don't even know if it's really happening or if they're going to change it. Um, but whatever. So, um, I'm super excited about the fifth season, which is, it's already out, but it's not on Netflix, and I'm kind of bumming out about that. So, um, I'm a little sad. Um, I, I'm kind of obsessed with it, though. Like, there's, uh, the song that keeps getting stuck in my head in a specific scene that's, like, one of my favorite scenes. Um, but this, I'm not going to say what the scene is, but the song is Florence the Machine, Never Let Me Go. And I think it's, like, a remix version that she did with this other band or whatever but my god it's such an amazing song please 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 look up that song because it's just so epic and you get all these feels and when you see the scene that plays the song you're just like oh my god so many things are happening i'm just like freaking out about it you like vampire diaries i totally like vampire diaries totally it's like the best show ever Vampire Diaries, Vampire Diaries, Vampire Diaries, Vampire Diaries, Vampire I'm not obsessed. Not, a, not at all. That totally, that whole spiel about Vampire Diaries just actually reminded me of when I was a huge fan of um, Twilight. And I'm, I, I say I was a huge fan, but I think I was mainly a huge fan of the books. The movies, yes and no. I really liked New Moon. I think that was the best adaptation of a book. I mean, it was pretty much spot on. I don't, and the one, the couple changes they did make, I I approved. Like I liked them. So I, I'd say New Moon was a really good movie. Um, but Twilight, it was good for what it was, but it wasn't how you felt in the book. Like in the book, there was a lot more. Um, them arguing and like the 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 quirkiness of their you know arguments and relationship and how they they hate each other but they liked each other kind of thing and that was fun and in the movie you just don't you don't get that I mean I still think it was a pretty good movie but it, it was me it it just wasn't the same but anywho it reminded me of when I was a, a big fan and I was like knew everything about it and I was super obsessive about it and Andrew was like you're not gonna be one of those creepy people that stalks Stephanie Meyer who's the author at like her home in New York and I was like she lives in Arizona <laughs> she just live in New York silly yeah, no. <laughs> and I was like oh my god not I'm kind crazy. of crazy just just a tad <laughs> Hey guys, um, I had gone shopping with my sister a last week, yeah, and um, we hung out and she took me shopping for my birthday, and I also got a gift in the mail from my husband, which is a fox skull. Uh, I'm not displeased. Can you see that? There we go. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just was not expecting it, I guess. But, I mean, it's Andrew, so. Little fox skull. I like to imagine that, like, it was already dead when they found it, and then they decided to keep its skull, as opposed to killing it first, for no good reason. So... Hopefully that's the way it happened. It died of natural causes or something. Um, but uh, my sister and I, we went to CVS and Kohl's, 
And I realized everything I got matches each other, so I could, like, throw an ensemble together with everything. First I went to CVS, and I got this really cool, um, I've been wanting some really bright liquid liner for a while now. And this crazy, what did you got that, like, turquoise? What do they call it? Emeralds Glisten. So I got some Emerald Glisten. So it actually kind of matches my nails. Um, but I'm really into this color lately, and I like throwing it with, like, browns and tan and white and stuff. So I've been doing that. Kind of like a, uh, I think of, like, a beach, summer beach look. Kind of classy, but, um, you know, hipstery as well, I guess. So, I've been doing lots of that. And I got some black nail polish, because I had some, but I have absolutely no idea what happened to it. Uh, I was going to paint my nails black and pink one day, and it just, the black and the pink just disappeared. I don't, no idea what happened to it. So, that kind of sucks. It's supposed to dry really quick, but it was one of the cheaper brands, so you never really know. Uh, either way, I'll, I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, I also got this Burt's Bees. Honey Lip Balm, which I'm excited about. Uh, I have another Burt's Bees that I have. It's really good. That I like to use, so. And I really like honey taste and smell, so I went for that. So I got two things. I got a, when we went to Kohl's, I got a dress and a tank top. And they're both, like, pretty much match each other. got this really cute tank top. Can you even see that? Look at that! It's adorable! And it's kind of high-low. And it's a little sheer, but I'll, I was planning on, like, throwing it over, like, dresses or, um, like, another tank top and a skirt or something. So I'm really excited about this because it's a really nice springy, summery piece, which I'm really into right now. And, um, I think it's because I'm just sick of wearing dark clothes, because the weather, like, when it's cold and stuff out, you end up wearing a lot of, like, darker colors. So I've just been so desperate for warmer weather. And it's finally getting warm, although it rained, like, crazy the past couple days. Got this really pretty, um, maxi dress. And normally I don't buy maxi dresses because I'm short and it's too maxi. But this ended up working really well. It, like, just hits my feet, and I can wear sandals with it, but I'll probably wear, like, um, maybe sandals with a little bit of a heel or some, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Uh, and it also came with a little belt, which was really cute, and I really, really like it. And my sister had this idea of getting, like, a chunkier belt, and pulling some of the skirt part into it so that it's not so long and it gives that kind of like baggy top look with a slender uh, skirt which I really like and I do a lot so that was a good I don't know why I never thought of that she's a genius apparently so that was my cool birthday presents um yeah I mean everything I got was on sale which was weird um, I tried on, like, three dresses. They all fit great, but they just didn't look great. Like, I wasn't in love with them. But this this dress and top I tried on, I was like, it's perfect. So that was really cool, and I'm excited to wear it. And I'm hoping it gets nice soon because I wanted to do some, like, I wanted to do a me and my husband, like, together lookbook. I thought we could do, like, three to five outfits together. Like, kind of matching. I mean, look awesome and stuff. I thought maybe, like, we're going to a wedding this summer. Well, I don't know. Maybe I, that might be too long from now. But um, Easter's coming up, so I'll probably do one on Easter of us being fabulous. And then, because I have this Easter dress I've been dying to wear, so I'm going to try and wear that for Easter if I can. Although it's me, I'm kind of fickle. And then, um... I think we're going to, like, a dinner party at one point, and, but it'll be kind of casual, so we'll have, like, kind of a dressy-up Easter day, we'll have, like, a kind of fancy casual, and then we'll have, like, I don't know, urban rocker or something, I don't know, we'll 
figure something out. But I thought it would be really fun to do because he's awesome and does things like that with me. So, because we're cool. There's also a tag we're wanting to do called, I think we're going to do it tomorrow, called the 90s kids tag, which is just a bunch of questions of like, like what was your favorite game, what was your favorite TV show in the 90s as a kid growing up, and so I'm excited about that, I think that's been really fun, um, yeah, it's gonna be good, so I hope this is cool, I hope you like my stuff, I like my stuff, I'm really excited to wear it, um, so if, if I don't do a lookbook with, with that in it, I'll definitely do like an outfit of the day or something, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna incorporate that in my wardrobe as much as possible, and I've been wearing this hat like every day. I don't know what it is. I just really like it. It's mainly like when my hair is kind of greasy and I don't really want to, I don't like taking showers every single day. I take a shower like every other day um, to kind of save on water and everything. And uh, today was the day of not showering. So I was just like, my hair was kind of flat and whatever. And I was just like, yeah, I'll throw the hat on. It makes everything better. Just makes everything better. So uh, I love you guys. See ya. How do I turn this off?